What is up guys and welcome back to another Raid Shadow Legends video with me The Real Deal. So today we are going to be pulling, not shards, we're not going to be pulling shards, we are going to be pulling 96 Mortal Soul Stones. So how does a free to play end game player get so many Soul Stones? Well through Hydra, so I'm able to do Hydra from um, normal all the way down to brutal. Uh, one key, so that gives me loads of Soul Stones. Um, and then also any sort of tournaments or events. So anything that I see that I can get my hands on soul stones or um, soul essence or soul coins, I'm going for it. Because at the moment um, where I am at the game, blessing my champions and empowering them or awakening them even, really, you know, it makes a huge difference to your account and you really do need to do it. I mean, even sort of mid and early game course is going to do big things to your account if you've got legendaries. Um, but yeah, so let's have a look at the um, champions I really want to empower. So Constantine is a great nuka. He is really underrated. Um, I would say he's probably like within, I'd say, top seven uh, arena nukas easily. And um, probably even higher up than that to be honest. But yeah, he's so strong. Um, really underrated. Um, Arbiter, another great champion, especially for her with this uh, intimidating presence that basically it increases your team's aura and will make the other enemy's team aura weaker. So if you go against another speed team, you have a better chance of winning because you're going to be a lot faster and you're going to be pushing pushing them back, making them slower. Uh, Hegemon, love this guy and would love to empower him. Rotos as well, really strong champion. Uh, and then Leores is actually the reason why I want to do this video because um, I really want to just try and pull some more red stars for him. Um, and then also any sort of champion I can use in Hydra. So, you know, we've got Cantra, um, Necmo, who else is like a god? Elva as well. So all these champions are absolute beasts um, for Hydra. But basically, that's what I'm looking for. Any champions can we progress in Hydra or endgame arena? So without further ado, let's start. Uh, <laughs> there we go again. Let's uh, start pulling these mortal soul stones and hope we get something nice and tasty. Okay, Dark Kale, awesome champion. Cold Heart, another great champion. Um, Dark Kale can solo a lot of content and empowering him will make a huge difference and make it a lot easier to solo that content as well. But I can't, we just want legendaries. We don't want epics. Uh, Broadmoor, he's not too bad, to be honest. Um, using my Faction Wars team. Here we go, here we go. Oh, so I'm actually lucky enough to have two Arbiters. So... And um, that's definitely go on my second one. Nice. Another legendary. Here we go. Ah. Oh. Okay, that's going to slightly buff my Hegemon as well. Absolutely great. And here we go again. Lissandra, unfortunately, I don't have her, but would love to have her one day. Okay. Nothing else at the moment that really stands out. Painkeeper. You could put a bit. Uh, you could uh, buff her up, do a bit more damage in your clan boss team if you use the unkillable. Um, let's see who else is there. No one else at the moment. Basha, really good champion. Archmage helmet as well. Both amazing champions. Uh, Basha, another champion that I think people don't really use often, but really good for the arena. Increasing anyone's cooldowns is such a powerful skill, especially if they've got stone skin um, or like a, a neck red as well. So you can sort of just go through that defense and just stop them right in their tracks. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Oh, Shiramani. Um, I don't have her. She's been sitting waiting for ages for me to fuse her. But um, I'm just sort of holding on to her. Um, for a while, just basically if I need her for CVC. So let's just make some space quickly. And we're back. All right, let's go. We've got 20, 26 to go. Come on, I really want Marley Ores. Uh, this is a new guy. I don't know too much about him to it. Knocked. Uh, man Eater, good again, because you can increase your Man Eater's damage, giving you more chance of getting that one key with your unkillable team. Come on. Oh, Helio. All right. So I actually really like Helio. Um, I do use him in a go second team for Arena. Uh, Rathmatab. He's okay. 
don't rate him too much. All right, and we've got six more to go. So let's see. Vogoff, amazing champion, used for Bommel, used for Arena. Sorry about that interruption. Let's get back to the video. All right, so two more to go. Can we get what we need? No, it's, it's not going to happen, is it? Oh, okay. Maybe better luck next time. Let's just have a quick look. Yeah, so second Arbiter. Let's quickly awaken her. Nice. That's really going to help me with Arena. And yeah, I'll do the rest later. But yeah, like I said, the Manny is that's really good because I can help me with my damage. And yeah, Vogoff, like said, an amazing champion for like Arena and Bommel and all sorts of. There's all sorts of uh, Doom Tower bosses you can use her for. But anyway, yeah. So that is pretty much the end of the video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe because it helps my channel grow. And I'll see you in my next video. Peace.